you know, I just love it when I'm sitting here talking for how long, who knows. And then when I look back down at the screen to make sure I make myself a little room, um, I find that the, it stopped recording because the battery went dead. And then naturally it doesn't tell me where I stopped, so I can always go back into the archive in the camera and look at it, or I can just say, screw it, and start over again. So anyway, I'm going to start over again. Monday, I went to see a friend of mine at Yale. We had lunch. On the way home, using the phone, texting on the phone. I get home, put the phone down in here. I change my clothes, use the phone, called the wife. Told her I'm not taking the phone out in the yard with me. And it's going to be noisy. So uh, I'm not going to hear it if it rings. So just leave a text or whatever. Not a problem. And that was it. So I'm out, the, uh, I'm out in the yard. I come back in an hour or so later. And uh, my phone is beeping. Which is indicating either a download or a text or something. It's a notification of sort. So uh, I, hope I turn, hit the menu button. The phone lights up. And uh, I noticed up here that it had... Uh, done an update so I went to swipe down on it to see what the update was and it didn't work so come on the phone was just working it didn't work so then I tried hitting the icons to see if any of them would work wouldn't work the phone would not work the touchpad nothing even with the stylus it would not work so, I said, okay, I pulled the battery out of it, pulled the card out of it, let it sit, continued out in the yard, did some work, came back in, put the battery in it, put the card in, all that kind of stuff, turned it back on, fired up. Still, no work done. The screen doesn't want to do anything. So I call AT&T, he says, well, he says, uh, I don't see where the update would have done anything like that. I said, well, this just seems awfully strange that... I was using the phone prior, and if you check your records, you'll see that I was on the phone, both texting and using it, and then it was just sitting here, doing nothing, you know, and it stopped working after the update. He goes, let's do a reboot. So we did a reboot, lost all my personal information, which is okay, because it's backed up, and still, nothing. So at that point, I've only had this phone for about a year and a half. Uh, so it's beyond the warranty of the phone. I don't have an extended warranty on it because to be honest with you, I never needed them. Like I say, I've got phones here. This is a Note 3. And this phone has got to be four years, five years old. Now, this phone was the wife's phone. Uh, the only thing wrong with this one is the speaker doesn't work. So you have to, uh, or the mic part rather, doesn't work. So you have to have a mic plugged in in order to do anything, or Bluetooth. Now, I use it out here as just a little thing because I keep certain data in here that I can get to right away if I want. You know, like, you know, for amateur radio stuff like that. Uh, you know, some quick contacts. I can listen to the fire department real quick uh, if I have to. Stuff like that. So anyway, it works. I have another Note 3 that I may have showed you at one time or another, <coughs> shown, um, where the, the boys, Lance actually, uh, he wasn't in the house, uh, he wasn't in the family for very long, and I had left the phone on the computer stand and took a shower. When I came back, I realized that Lance decided he wanted to use my phone as a bone and uh, chewed on it and cracked the screen down here and put a long crack up the screen. However, the phone works perfectly. Okay, and that's after a dog got it. So, I can still use that phone if I wanted to. So what I did was I called AT&T, nothing worked. Um, they told me that, you know, I'm responsible for this phone, it's a lease, so regardless, I can't trade it in in two years and get out of the lease because, uh, it doesn't work, you know, and all this. So I said, all right, so I called Samsung. They want $182 to fix it. Well, it's worth $182 to fix it, in my opinion, anyway. You know, I'm not going to buy the phone for $182, especially one that I know that's in the condition that this one is in. There's nothing wrong with the phone, cosmetically-wise. 
um, you know, other than the screen stopped working. But the phone itself is in great shape. Uh, the fingerprints on the screen is nothing. If I was to wipe those off, it looks like a new phone. You'd never know this phone was used. So it's worth it for me to send it back for $182 for them to fix it. So I took the chip out of it and I put it in the Note 3 with the bad display. Because you can read the display, there's nothing wrong with the display other than it's got a crack in it and a little shatter in the bottom corner. But it still all works, even where the shatter is and the crack is. So uh, I said, okay, that's what I'm going to do. So I got to call them uh, today and uh, give them a credit card. And then they're going to send me a pickup for it and they'll take it. And he said it takes about a week to 10 days, uh, working days that is. So we'll see what happens. Now meanwhile, I was using the other phone. The one with a little crack on it. And this started Monday. So I remembered that I was watching something on YouTube. On Box Therapy. So that's the channel. And they're always unboxing different things, weird things, strange things, testing them, stuff like that. It's actually a pretty interesting channel at times. And they were showing a cell phone for $100. Smartphone. And I says, hmm, let me go back and see if it'll work with AT&T. So I go back, I'm looking at it, I click on the link, I go to the link where it is. I think I hear my uh, westbound train coming. And I said, you know, it works for AT&T. It's $100. It's a smartphone. It'll be a great backup. You know, the Note 3 that I have over here, the mic doesn't work. The Note 3 that I have in the house has to crack in the screen. However, they all work. Um, then I have an old Galaxy that still works, believe it or not, that looks brand new. So until I get this one back, I can either spend 100 bucks and buy the other one um, or use the broken one. Well, the broken one drives me nuts. So I said, I'm going to order the new one. So I ordered the new one. It came in yesterday. Now, I don't know if you can see that or not. This is a Note 3, which is the same, uh, Note 4 rather, which is the same as the 5 and the new 7. Um, and, you know, so it's a full-size screen. This is the new one. Look at the size of the screen on this. It's actually a 7-inch tablet. That's what it looks like. But it, it is a phone. Right. It works just like the Samsung. The Note. And the Galaxy. However, it may not have all the programs in it. You know, the apps. So, the apps are all downloadable. So I downloaded the apps I wanted. Now on the, this one here, on the note from AT&T, it came through already pretty well loaded up with tons of apps that I couldn't use, that I wouldn't use, and that you can't delete. I was told if I went into the root directory, I can get rid of them but I never investigated as to how to get into the root directory to get rid of them. Because as long as it's in your root directory, you can delete it from the, from the system, but as soon as the phone does an update, it's going to update and reinstall what you deleted because it's still in the root directory. Well, this is an unlocked phone. It didn't have all that bullshit in there. so. I've got a pretty well open set phone. It's got a 32 on the memory. It's got the slot for the SD card. It'll take two phone numbers. There's a spot for two cards in here, so it'll take two phone numbers. If I want to put another number in here, I can do it. Say the wife's phone stops working for some reason. We can put hers in here as well. We can both use this phone with our own phone numbers if we wanted to. It's a great phone. Has a double cameras. It's got everything that the Samsung has. And to me, it's actually a little bit better because there's not there isn't all the other bullshit in there. You know, and it's not doing all the updates. And I didn't have to do anything with it because it's unlocked. 
So in order to use the text, you know, and the and the phone number, I don't have to call AT and T. I don't have to have a transfer. You know, give them the number in there and all that kind of shit. And then they download their program into it. I don't have to do any of that. So basically, uh, I got a hell of a deal. So if anybody's looking for a, a good smartphone so far for a hundred bucks on Amazon. To me, it's great. Now, over time, I don't know. For some people, it may be too big. Myself, I like big. To be honest with you, I've been looking for a phone that was bigger than the Note because I like big. Um, and it was like meant to be. So, I mean, it does everything I needed to do. It hooks up to the internet when I'm here. If I'm driving around, it finds whatever internet, you know, uh, Wi-Fi connections that are open. Um, you know, the, it's got the map, it's got the weather, it's got everything that the Galaxies and the uh, Samsungs have. Uh, and it's a great price. I mean, this is just, in my opinion, a nice phone. And like I say, the only problem some people may have, it's a 7 inch phone. So, you know, it may be a little difficult for some people to carry. Uh, I don't know if there's any cases out for it. Seeing that they have cases for 7 inch tablets, I'm sure there's a case out that'll fit this. Um, I don't know if it has that same screen that this one has. You know, as far as if it gets banged or anything, or if it's scratch resistant, I don't want to try it or check it. So I would recommend being careful with it for a while. Uh, I would definitely recommend keeping it in a case uh, and not just throw it in your hip pocket, uh, like I see a lot of people do. Uh, for myself, I'll put a case on it, and when I'm wearing my clothes, my pants, 90% of my pants, other than if I'm going out, out, but my casuals, all have cargo pockets. They're all cargo type pants. So, put it right in my car cargo pants. So, anyway, there it is. So, uh, heck of a deal. I'm back in business. I'm going to call Samsung up today, give him a credit card, get this sent out. So, I'll get this one back. Meanwhile, that'll give me two weeks to play with this one to see how I like it. Um, and then when the Samsung comes back, uh, I'll probably go back to the Samsung and I'll just put this away uh, for a backup in case I need it again. So, but there you go guys. Now I got a lot to do in the yard, so uh, I'll fill you in on that in a minute.